What's up YouTube? You checking out the Frequent Flyer and this is my quick review of the DB Power Hawkeye 2. The second. I know it's a naming convention, but this is the craft here and I must say that this thing is a pretty awesome stable aircraft. Uh, this is one of those new quadcopters that are implementing the altitude hold feature in the toy quad area and this is gear driven. Uh, so it has, it looks to be seven millimeter motors in there, in there, installed parallel there to the arm and allows for the gear system to be hooked up that way. So it's gear driven, as I said, and this thing flies pretty nicely. It has a pretty decent pitch to it, uh, not overly deep, but it's just deep enough to get this thing flying fast. It does fly fast with the stock transmitter. Um, it's a rebrand of the Cherson CX32 actually, but I don't know if this is on the same protocol because I have the Cherson CX33 hex Y6 and it can be deviated and this doesn't have the same protocol as that. So I'm not sure if this is the same protocol. Can't bind it to Devo, but this thing flies really nice as I said. It's very stable. The altitude hold works really well. This thing is spot on. It holds its height very well. Not the position, but the height. It doesn't have GPS, so it does tend to drift around while it's holding the height, but it does hold the height indoors and outdoors the same pretty nicely. So um, that feature works really well. And this is a Wi-Fi FPV unit, so it actually works with your phone. So the transmitter is here. The transmitter has this a bracket here where you can put your phone on this clamp there and you can fly FPV but uh, one drawback that I had with it is that you are not allowed to fly it controlling it with the transmitter and FPV with the phone it's either one or the other so when you're flying it with the transmitter which is the best way to fly it it's more responsive and a little more fast um, flying with the transmitter whereas with the phone app there's an app that you have to download is the Cherson CX uh, 32 app that you download in order to fly this um, Wi-Fi so the Wi-Fi control is the same still this thing uh, the camera here broadcasts its own Wi-Fi signal and then also controls the craft in order for you to uh, fly it with the phone so the phone app allows you to fly it but as soon as you turn on the phone app, the controls on the transmitter become disabled. That was the uh, one thing that I didn't like. I really wish that it was a way that you can fly it using the sticks on the transmitter and using the FPV signal on the phone to be able to fly it. The, the FPV signal is Wi-Fi, so there is some delay. But the, the delay isn't that bad, actually. Um, it's maybe a half a second or something like that so you can actually fly FPV, FPV with it but I'm not sure how far away you can fly with FPV on Wi-Fi signals so um, I wouldn't recommend flying it outside with the phone app and actually in the uh, instructions manual it tells tells you not to fly it like that outdoors it says indoors when you're using the phone app when you fly it outdoors with the transmitter, this thing gets really fast and sporty. The altitude hold is still working perfectly, just about. And um, it has an auto takeoff and auto landing button on here. And those features work really well. It lands pretty softly. It does drift around a little when it's auto landing, though. So you can control it with the uh, right stick here, though to get it to land in the spot that you want it to land in but for the most part it does all of that on its own the landing soft landing it even shuts off the motors once it lands pretty awesome man i like that feature it has the auto take off the auto take off feature works really well i wouldn't recommend auto taking off like around obstacles and stuff around ob other objects because you really can't control the pitch and roll once it, when it's uh taken off in the beginning so keep that in mind that you have to have some kind of space and yeah the led lights on here are pretty awesome it lights up pretty nice in night 
and the lights on the front here and on the sides are blue and the rear LED is red and uh, it's a really nice night flyer. So this thing is a pretty awesome aircraft. Uh, it comes with an extra set of spare props but the spare props they only give you two of them so that was a little disappointing. You only get two spare props and uh, you have a full set of prop guards there and two screwdrivers they give you <laughs> that's for installing the prop guards uh, and they give you they supply the screws as well because you need screws to screw them on and it comes with an instructions manual pretty decent it tells you that you can get the uh, app for flying it with the phone and it's in pretty legible English and also you get this thing they put a card in there if you're happy they tell you to leave a fair Amazon product review and support them. And then on this side, if you're unhappy, then their friendly, timely, and hassle-free service will work hard to put a smile back on your face. Email them at service at dbpower.co.uk and submit online question forms at www.dbpower.c0.uk backslash support. So... That's the DB Power Hawkeye 2, the second. Thanks for watching.